In today's video, I'm showing you guys how I throw every single one of my wiffle ball and blitz ball pitches. 11 different pitches to hopefully strike your friends out so hard that they have to run behind a near shed and shed a mere tear. This tutorial is brought to you by Mova Clubs. My slider is the first pitch I ever learned and probably the best pitch to start with. I grip the ball with two fingers, the middle finger cutting across the holes of the ball, and the pointer finger wrapped straight over the top. I throw it in a three-quarter arm angle and spin the ball off that pointer finger as you release. Aim it at a righty batter's head and it'll glide to the left. A big key here is to keep the whole side of the ball facing to the right as much as possible while you release. And really make sure to spin the ball off that pointer finger, that's going to give it all its movement. Sometimes if you throw it too hard, it will just go straight, so try to master the spin then add the speed. One last sliders tip, don't eat the wooden toothpicks that are hidden in them sometimes. They hurt your mouth. Oh! <laughs> I love the way he just, he's just lounging, mocking you. And for all my wiffle pitches, I used a scuffed ball, which basically just means you put as much friction on top of the smooth surfaces as you can. So stuff it on the cement, use a serrated knife to cut it up a little bit, cheese grater, anything really works. The screw ball is gonna act the exact opposite as the slider. Grip the ball with the holes facing to the left. Thumb resting on the side of the ball and your pointer finger wrapped around just above the holes. I release this pitch as overhand as possible, keeping the holes straight to the left as I release. Aim it to the left and it's gonna cut back to the right sharply. Start from that over the top arm angle and focus on throwing this pitch downward. This pitch works great with speed. It's like a Johan Duran two-seamer. Oh. That's a, that's lucky. <laughs> to throw a riser, point the holes facing down and grip the ball with two fingers across the middle of the ball. I like to have my middle finger covering half the holes for a little extra grip. You're going to want to release this pitch sidearm with the holes facing straight down as you roll the ball off those two fingers. Try to have your arm as even to the ground as possible while you pitch. Throw the ball towards the ground as you spin it out of your hand and the air will get in the ball and lift it up towards the strike zone. The hitter is going to swing under this pitch 99.9% .9 of the time. This is probably my most effective pitch, even though sometimes it doesn't look like the craziest moving one. Oh, I just laughed like Santa. For the dropper, I put my thumb on top of the ball and wrap my other fingers around the side with the holes facing straight up. Throw this pitch sidearm and spin the ball as much as you can off your pointer and middle fingers as you throw. If you spin it enough, the ball will tail to the right while dropping sharply. Big tip for this pitch, try to have none of the holes covered by your fingers or thumb. The more air that gets in the top of the ball, the more it will drop. This pitch works the best when you aim it right down the middle and then it disappears down and to the right, making hitters swing right over the top of it. Oh my it caught it. It framed the pitch. The knuckleball is the most fun pitch to throw. Point the holes to the right like a slider grip and press four knuckles up against the ball with the thumb gripping the bottom. I don't flick the ball off with my knuckles, I just lock my wrist in place and push the ball. Pretend you have a Lego minifigure hand and you can't move your four fingers. Aim the ball slightly inside to a righty batter and it should do some witchcrafty, wizard-like things in the air. You want the ball to fill up with as much air as possible so the more you lock your wrist and don't spin it, the more the ball is gonna dance in midair. <laughs> a two seam is the best pitch to start with because a blitz ball is always going to naturally move to the right. I throw mine underhand, bringing my arm across my body and slinging the ball out of my hand. I hold the ball with two fingers, the camel hoof grip, I'm, I call it. While you release, you're going to sling the ball out of your hand and spin the ball off those two main fingers as much as you can. The more spin, the more the ball is going to two seam. And the more underhand you go, the more the ball will drop. The big key to this pitch is trusting that the ball will move. So you have to aim way to the left with as much spin on it as possible. I throw an underhand slider that also rises a little sometimes. You're gonna grab the ball like a baseball curveball with your middle and pointer fingers together, and then tuck your pointer knuckle tight onto the ball. Aim this pitch way to the right and low. When you release, try to be as underhand as possible. And the most important part, flick the ball out of your hand like you're throwing a frisbee. Let the knuckle do most of the work. The ball will rise a little and slide a lot, creating a pretty much unhittable pitch. Oh, yes, he did. The curveball is going to be the same exact grip as the slider. One knuckle flat on the ball. But I throw this pitch overhand. Once your arm is at the top of its peak, flick your wrist and spin the ball clockwise out of your hand. It's very similar to an actual baseball curveball. A big tip here is to not overthrow this pitch and let the spin and gravity do most of the work. That knuckle's going to do a lot of the work too. 
<laughs> For my riser, I grab the ball with a three finger Wolverine grip and throw it as overhand as possible. The key here is to basically throw the ball straight down into the ground, giving the ball as much backspin as possible. This pitch is just all about backspin. Throw the ball down and trust the spin to bring it back up into the strike zone. I found that if you don't throw this pitch very hard, it won't really rise unless you're outdoors and it's really windy. The movement is sometimes slight, but it moves just enough and in a very unnatural way to miss most barrels. <laughs> the knuckle drop is probably the toughest pitch to learn. I hold it with all four knuckles tucked into the ball, but unlike the wiffle knuckle ball, this pitch is all about front spin. So while you're pitching the ball up into the air, your knuckles are flicking the ball down and all of that's happening in one fluid motion right as you release. This causes the ball to stop at its peak in midair and spin back down towards the ground. The big tip I have for this pitch is give it as much front spin as humanly possible and don't overthrow it. If you throw it too hard, it's just gonna go straight into the ground. Two, two. <gasps> drop. To be honest, I'm not even completely sure how this pitch happens. I think a demigod breathed it into my brain in a fever dream. But I think if you hold the ball like a normal slider and whip your arm around the back of your body, then flick your wrist up while it's right above your butt, the ball is going to sneakily slip out and surprise the batter. And because it's that slider grip, it'll also slide a bit sometimes. I'd think of throwing this as a softball pitcher when they underhand deliver a strike, and then you have to come over the top and fake the normal pitch to really sell it all. Now we put it all together. I can't throw a pitch twice. I can only throw each pitch once and hopefully I can strike out Lorenzo. Hopefully not. And I'm talking to you, this camera now. Oh, <laughs> that's not good. Shout out to all the hitters out there who are just about to have their days ruined. <laughs> Oh, now I wouldn't suggest throwing it right down the middle, as, as middle, middle as possible, but sometimes it works. Oh, it dropped. It dropped. That's all you can ask for. Oh, <laughs> that was a dot. That's how you do it. That's how you do wiffle ball. Now, blitz ball. Oh. That was a good pitch, though. That was very close. 1-0. That's one of those strike ones that feels like it's a strike three. Oh, good take. Good take. That was nice, that was nice. That was, that was inside. That was nice, that was inside, it stayed low. Foul ball. I'm really glad I got the strikeouts in a pitch tutorial video because if you hit two swamp donkeys, then it's like a... That would have been bad. It's like a hitting tutorial. <laughs> How not to pitch tutorial. Okay.